global demand to lower solar and wind output, and it means some smaller suppliers are going out of business. Last night, the Prime Minister said he was very confident in the UK's energy supply chains and that the problem was temporary. But the government is now considering offering emergency state-backed loans in an attempt to try and deal with this crisis. Greg Jackson is the boss of Octopus Energy and he joins us now. Good morning to you, Mr Jackson. Great to see you this morning. Uh, the government say they are offering bailouts and support. How much of that help is needed at the moment? Uh, good morning. Uh, look, I think what we're seeing right now is that some of those smaller companies that were perhaps less prudently run or, or less well-backed already had you know, sort of financial problems queuing up. And the current hike in gas prices and wholesale global gas prices is kind of causing uh, issues that were already there to kind of come to a head. I think the most important thing is that, first of all, when we've been in times like this, larger companies like ours and the government work together with Ofgem to make sure that customers of those companies that are in trouble are well looked after. So the most important thing is, first of all, customers don't need to worry about their energy supply. And if anything does happen to the company that supplies them, there are well-oiled processes to make sure that, you know, not only will their energy supply continue, but things like credit balances will be protected. And thanks to the price cap, of course, you know, they can be sure that they're not going to get charged excessive amounts. So you say not to worry about the energy supply and even with the price cap in place, of course, there is some concern about prices simply going up, which might be incredibly difficult for some people. You are at these talks today. What, what do you want to hear and what might you be able to say? I think, first of all, what we're facing is high gas prices globally in the run up to this autumn and winter. Those companies like ours that buy energy long in advance can already see that prices after this winter start to get back to normal. So really it's about how do we help customers through this winter. What we need to do here is say, are there immediate measures that can be taken? For example, uh, there are quite high environmental and social levies on electricity bills. And you might say, look, for example, E.ON have proposed that they be dropped because, after all, electricity is increasingly clean. It's kind of odd that we pay a levy on it. And at a time like now, people need help with their bills. I think the other area that we need to focus right now is just if companies, if some of those kind of companies that were already not in a great place, you know, do leave the market, how do we make sure that that's minimum cost to other bill payers and to the public purse? And in terms of how long this might go on for, some people are suggesting that, you know, it might be we start, things might start improving within the next two weeks, but also some people are suggesting it might not get fixed until spring because the price is going to remain high. What's your forecast? They're both right. Look, what you've got is some short-term issues. They're affecting the UK only, really. So, for example, there's so much of our nuclear capacity is offline at the moment for unplanned maintenance. It's the equivalent of between three and five million homes worth of electricity not being generated. So we're having to use gas for that instead. Now, those kind of uh, unplanned maintenance issues look like they're going to be largely resolved over the next couple of weeks, say. That's that short-term improvement. In the longer term, across the entire winter, what we face is kind of high gas prices driven by global supply and demand. So uh, I think it's certainly the case that, unfortunately, the UK is at the mercy of these kind of global forces in, in fossil fuels. Um, but as the supply and demand picture begins to even out towards you know the middle to the end of this winter I think you know at least by then we'll get some respite. I don't know if you're going to be able to answer this question but I think it's probably what people will be asking at home how much are bills going to go up by this winter? Look, we've already seen the uh, energy price cap increase by 150 pounds if the price cap wasn't in place I'm pretty sure that particularly you know, the former big six would have hiked prices by hundreds of pounds you know they could have been three four five hundred pounds higher that, than, than we're seeing. The increased prices are going to flow through to the next price cap. So I think you may see an, another kind of increase in the next price cap from, from March as well. Greg Jackson from Octopus Energy, thank you very much.